Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to do a little bit deeper dive into Amplitude 5 with GarageBand. What I'm doing first here is I'm just setting up some inputs, separate ones, for different amplifiers. And we're going to do um, one drum track and then three different amplifiers. And we're going to use more of the more aggressive or overdriven amplifiers. Starting out with the first one is the 150 watt or you know, metal lead five. This is basically the PV5150 simulator. And that's gonna be the first one, and I'll put 5150 amp here. The next one will be, and I purchased the 5150 in the, uh, in the shop, the Amplitude 5 shop. So the next one we're gonna do is the Soldano, and this one I got, I was just, it was a free download from IK Multimedia, which is pretty cool. And then the last one, another, was a uh, special offer, the Mesa Triple, or Mesa Triple Rectifier. And we're going to get those up and set up as the amps we're going to use. So if you haven't played around with the drummer in GarageBand, pretty cool. You can kind of modify based on um, you know different drummers, different kind of feels. So there's you know funk, hard rock. I think there's a metal drummer there. So we're gonna go through and just kind of get some drum beats. You can't hear it right now, but you will later when I give the example. So. So I'm just kind of getting the beats that I think are going to go um, with what I'm looking for, which is more of a harder rock. And it was not really metal, but kind of beats. And up in the, uh, the tempo to 136. And I always like beats in time to see how much that goes. So you can, um, different ways you can extend it. You hit the plus sign there, right? Which will give you the exact same thing. But then you can go in and modify like how much hi-hat, different variations on hi-hats, um, kick, cymbals, percussion stuff. You can go through that. All right, so now I'm modifying the 5150 and I'm going through and again, sorry, you can't hear the tones, the tone as it um, is being played but you will be able to hear in a second because I'm going to have the example with the riff that I came over with the drums. So you hear the drums and the riff coming up here shortly, but I'm just tweaking things just to kind of get a sound that I like. And all the knobs, you just kind of click on them and you move up and down with the, uh, the arrow to kind of adjust the levels that you want. I'm not using any effects here, just the straight amp and overdriven or gain tones that I can get out of it. So here we go, the 5150, and this is what it sounds like. So that gives you an idea of just kind of what the, the 5150 PV uh, simulator sounds like. And we're going to fade off here and get to the next one. So tweaking the Soldano and you'll hear in a, in a second. Actually, a couple seconds, you'll see the, hear the difference. It's kind of similar settings to the the Metal Lead 5 or the 5150, but it's a different sound, as you'll hear in a second. But the drums are going to be the same, and the, the riff you'll hear just kind of just, instead of playing the exact same riff, I want to play something different, and it's something that the tone 
from the amp kind of gave me. And um, here, gonna come up in a second or two. But again, pretty easy to just tweak all the settings. And you always wanna watch that record level because you don't wanna get into the red on those things because it'll peek out and it won't sound that good. And the last one is the Mesa Triple Rectifier. And I tried to give, get the, the dirtiest tone and the heaviest tone out of this. And there's three channels here. So again, similar levels to what I had for the 5150 and the Saldano. But it gives me a different sound, which is pretty cool. That's And that's the whole reason why I have, have this, is that you can get different amps. You don't have to go out and pay thousands of dollars to get these three separate amplifiers. So. Play out, and it just just gives you an example that um, different amplifiers can kind of inspire you to do different things. Pretty easy to play around with in uh, in GarageBand, and um, experiment, have fun. And then you can, there's a world of effects that you can throw in on afterwards. But th those are pretty good tones from those three amps. So enjoy. Hey, if you like this and you want to see future content, please hit subscribe and the bell and you'll get it whenever I post a video. So thanks a lot for watching and listening. Have a great day.